Hello friends, myself Rakesh Dangi, very good morning. In last video lecture session in for BBSM5 cost account, we completed a practical question number two in chapter unit costing. So here we are going to start a practical question number three. As per you seen on your, on your screen, uh, question number three, following information of Pranjal Machines Limited is available for the year ended on 31st March 2018. Prepare a cost sheet. In detail, there is a stock of finished goods beginning, same way stock of finished goods for closing, purchase of raw material, depreciation on machinery, depreciation on furniture, factory rent, direct wages, sales, indirect wages, sal <coughs> salary, <coughs> carriage, inward, carriage, outward, power, income tax, donation, advertisement expense, packing expense, office rent, manager salary but out of manager salary there is 80 percent is considered for factory purpose and remaining 20 percent for office use drawing office expense counting house salary or office salary expenses for delivery van opening stock of raw material and closing stock of raw material find out following percentage after preparing cost sheet Number one, percentage of factory overheads to direct labor. Number two, percentage of factory overheads to factory cost. And percentage of selling and distribution expense to production of cost of goods sold. Now we are going for answer of it, this question. First one, uh, we make a uh, prepare a cost sheet. Cost sheet of Pranjal Machine Limited for the year ending on 31st March 2018. There is a column of particular and two column for rupees. We already discussed in previous lecture. First one, material consume. There is an opening stock of raw material as per we seen in our practical question that is rupees 40,000 then add purchase of raw material rupees 4 lakh then add carriage inward which is considered as a purchasing expense which is rupees 4,000 and then less closing stock of raw material rupees 30,000 we remember closing stock of raw material should be less so finally we get rupees 4 lakh 12,000 which is considered as a material consume. Direct labor or a direct wages, which is rupees 2,40,000. Now material consume plus direct labor. So we get prime cost rupees 6,52,000. Now add factory overheads into prime cost. In factory overheads, there is a depreciation of machine, which is rupees 17,000. Factory rent, rupees 9,500. Indirect wages, it means labor, rupees 2,500. Power, 5,340. Manager salary, we remember here total salary of manager is given rupees 24,000. But out of it, there is 80% is considered for factory department, while remaining 20% is considered for office department. So here, 24,000 into 80%, as you seen in your bracket, in the bracket, rupees 19,200. 19, then drawing office expense. Drawing means there is a drawing of a, a product or a drawing of a machinery. There is drawing office expense, rupees 6,460. 
So we get total factory overhead expense rupees 60,000, which is added into prime cost. Then we get total rupees 7 lakh 12,000, which is considered as a factory cost or a works cost. Now in factory cost, we should added office overhead. There is a first one, the appreciation on furniture, salary, office rent, manager salary, which is 20% of total salary, rupees 4,800. Counting office salary, which is considered as an office expense, rupees 13,980. So we get total office overhead expense rupees 71,200. Now we added this amount into factory cost. So we get total rupees 783,200, which is considered as a cost of production or office cost. Now out of office cost or a production cost, we have to added opening stock of finished goods, if any, same way we have to less a closing stock of finished goods from it. Then we get cost of goods sold or a cost of goods production. Sorry, we get production cost of goods sold. There is an opening stock of finished goods rupees 1,2800 and closing stock of finished goods is rupees 86,000. So overall there is rupees 16,800 we have to add it into cost of production. Then we get total rupees 8 lakh which is considered as a production cost of goods sold. Now we have to add a sales and distribution expenses. There is a carriage outward, means Chavak Mal Gada Badu. It is a selling nature expense. Advertisement, is, is, it is also sales nature expense. Packing, it is a distribution nature expense. And expense of delivery van, which is also distribution nature expense. So total sales and distribution expense rupees 40,000. Now this 40,000 we have to add it into cost of goods sold, rupees 8 lakh. So we get total rupees 8 lakh 40,000, which is a total cost of your production. Now, as per we seen in our question, there is a sales is given. We remember there is a profit and sales, both are not given in any question. There is a given and sales or given a profit or rate of profit percentage. But here is given uh, there is a sales rupees 10 lakh 8000. So sales less cost means 10 lakh 8000 less 8 lakh 40,000. Then we get profit rupees 1 lakh 68,000. There is a basic funda or a basic formula to calculate profit sales minus cost or a basic funda which we learn in standard three or four there is a cost plus profit is equal to sales cost plus profit is equal to sales or if we change this formula then sales minus profit is equal to cost or a sales minus cost is equal to profit but basic formula is cost plus profit is equal to sales. Now we have to give answer. First one, there is a percentage of factory overheads to direct labor. Direct labor any company factory overhead in a ratio percentage is such. Factory order any formula to say factory order divided by direct wages. J expenses or overhead percentage. I would find out. Karwa 
એને અપમાં રાખશું એન્ડ જેની કમ્પેરિઝનમાં અથવા જેની સાથે જે એક્સપેન્સ સાથે કે જે કોસ્ટ સાથે કમ્પેર કરવાના છે બોટમ મતલબ ડાઉનમાં જશે સો ફેક્ટરી ઓવર એટ ડિવાઇડેડ બાય ડાયરેક્ટ વેજીસ ઇન ટુ હંડ્રેડ દેર ઇઝ એ ફેક્ટરી ઓવર એડ એઝ પર વી કેલ્ક્યુલેટ ઇન અવર કોસ્ટ સીટ દેર ઇઝ એ ફેક્ટરી ઓવર એડ ટોટલ રૂપીઝ સિક્સટી થાઉઝન્ડ ડાયરેક્ટ વેજીસ દેર ઇઝ એ ડાયરેક્ટ વેજીસ ઓર ડાયરેક્ટ લેબર it is rupees 2 lakh 40000 so 60000 divided by 2 lakh 40000 into 100 is is equal to 25 there is a 100 it means percentage so 25% matlab ke 100 rupya jo direct wages majuri hoy to 25 rupya factory go rate thai chhe same way second is percentage of office go rate to factory cost ફેક્ટરી કોસ્ટની કમ્પેરિઝનમાં ઓફિસ ઓવરેટનો ખર્ચ કેટલા ટકા છે ઇટ મીન્સ ઓફિસ ઓવરેટ ડિવાઇડેડ બાય ફેક્ટરી કોસ્ટ ઇન ટુ હંડ્રેડ દેર ઇઝ એ ઓફિસ ઓવરેડ ઇન અવર સીટ ટોટલ રૂપીઝ સેવન્ટી વન થાઉઝન્ડ ટુ હંડ્રેડ એન્ડ ફેક્ટરી કોસ્ટ સેવન લેખ ટ્વેલ થાઉઝન્ડ વી નાવ વી એપ્લાય ઇન અવર ફોર્મુલા દેર ઇઝ એ ઓફિસ ઓવરેટ સેવન્ટી વન થાઉઝન્ડ ટુ હંડ્રેડ divided by factory cost 7 lakh 12000 into 100 so we get 10 it is a 10% third one is percentage of selling and distribution overhead to production cost of goods sold we have to find out percentage of selling and distribution overhead with compared to goods sold there is a cost of goods sold there is a cost of good sold here 8 lakhs and sales and distribution expense 40000 so selling and distribution expense or over at rupees 40000 divided by cost of good sold which is 8 lakhs into 100 is equal to 5% so he total here we get three answer there is a rate of factory overhead compared to direct labor 25% same way rate of office overhead to factory cost 10% and then rate of selling and distribution overhead with cost of goods sold it is 5% now we check another practical